over the couple of days. And that is, I'm not saying one thing. I'm not following an argument. So you choose what you like, but also notice what you really don't like and take those away with you. A gap between hard edges. Mothers and motherly others from our earliest years <coughs> protect the world's daughters and sons by their terrible fears of predictable dangers. We learn to wait at the curb, not to run with our hands in our pockets, not to speak to strangers, not to stick our fingers in sockets, not to walk down dark alleys alone, and to mind the gap between platform and train, the two hard edges between which is pain. They pass on their fears and frights, they bequeath to us their alarm of hard, narrow places to slip, crevice or depth, from a height where we might come to harm. When I was a child, I skipped as a child, I strode as a child, I strove as a child, I leapt as a child into fun, into pain, into snow, into leaves, into love, into life, into knowing things I didn't know. But now, that is all put away. And I beware the space between edges, the gaps between others and me, the gap between prudence and passion, between what's kind and what's just, between meaning and word, between what you said and what I heard, between what's chosen and what's forced, between what's thrown away and what's lost, the gap between loving and trust, the gap between that which is worth doing and the fear and the shame and despair of the feelings of plans ungluing, the gap between hope and dust. The thing we most fear in that gap and never have grown to unlearn is the plummet toward the shock which we cannot discern. But yet I'm drawn to the edge, towards that other side, though there is no safe little bridge to span that divide. And where I might land is obscure. There is merely the depth and the height, the dreadful perhaps of the gap, the drop down a precipice crack to an unknown might from which I should never get back. We have risked down gaps before to find only licking lions, unhurtful furnaces, bushes that burn and do not die, to find fat and thin dreams of cattle. And we've heard the most shattering of any death rattles seen in the precipitous three-day leap which won the last battle. Something vast waits in the gaps. And often it calls that I ought just make a joyful, trusting jump and believe I'll be caught.